PC running painfully slow, with your disk usage spiking to 100% for no reason? In today's deep dive, I'll walk you through every proven method to fix the 100% disk usage issue in Windows 11 and 10 permanently. Whether you're a casual user or a power user, this guide will help speed things up. No fluff, just results. Let's get into it. First and foremost, what is 100% disk usage? Before we jump into fixes, let's understand what's actually going on. When you open Task Manager and see disk usage stuck at 100%, it means your hard drive or SSD is being maxed out. But here's the twist. You're not even doing anything demanding. This can be caused by background services, Windows features, driver problems, or even malware. You'll often notice symptoms like extremely slow boot times, apps taking forever to open, system freeze or lag, clicking or buzzing sound from your hard disk drives. So now let's fix that, step by step. Solution one, disable Windows search indexing. Windows search is helpful, but it can be a performance hog. Here's how to disable it. Press Windows R, type services.msc, and hit enter. Scroll to Windows search, right click, properties, set startup type to disabled, four, hit stop, then apply, then okay. Optionally, you can also do the same thing in PowerShell by running this command. So stop service name, set service name, startup type, disabled. Try running your system now. If performance improves, this might have been the culprit. Solution two, disable sysmain. Sysmain, previously known as Superfetch, is meant to speed up app launches, but ironically, it often causes the exact opposite. Here's how you will disable it. Open services.msc again, locate sysmain, double click it, click stop, then set startup type to disabled. Or with PowerShell, Stop, service name, sysmain, startup type, disabled. Reboot after this. For many users, disk usage drops significantly here. Solution three, disable connected user experiences and diagnostics. This part is quite sneaky. It's Microsoft's way of sending telemetry data, but at a cost to your performance, if you have watched my previous video. I have told it how to get rid of them using registry editor and group policy, but now I will show you how you stop telemetry services using the services.msc. Go to services.msc, find for connected user experiences and telemetry and diagnostic policy service. Stop both of these services and set them to disabled. You can also disable them using PowerShell by running the same commands we did previously. Stop service, diag track, set service name, diag track startup type disabled. By disabling these services, you're reducing background pressure and protecting your privacy too. Solution four, use a PowerShell debloat script. This is an optional advanced step. Sometimes it's not a single service causing the issue, but bloatware, pre-installed apps, and telemetry are, as I have explained in the previous video. So I am going to skip the procedure and you can see my video on debloating windows. Instead, I will tell you what to remove and what not. You will use the debloat to remove Xbox services, disable Cortana, 
remove OneDrive auto launch, adjust privacy settings, make sure you always create a restore point before running debloaters, since one misclick can corrupt or even crash the entire operating system. Solution 5. Disable background apps. Windows loves running apps you never asked for in the background. If you have watched my previous video on registry editor tips, you'll find a more advanced way to stop it. But in this video, I'll simply tell you how to disable the background apps by simply disabling them from the startup. Go to Settings, Apps, Startup Apps. Turn off the app you don't need running in the background. Solution 6. Check for malware or crypto miners. High disk usage can also be caused by malware or hidden crypto miners, like I got here by the name of Tari Universe. You can use tools like Windows Defender to fully scan your PC, Malware by Adware Cleaner for adware removal. If malware is detected and removed, disk usage should normalize after a reboot. Solution 7. Reset Virtual Memory Page File Incorrect or corrupt page file settings can cause disk overloads. Here's how you will fix. Press Windows plus R, type sysdm.cpl. Go to Advanced Performance Settings. Advanced tab, Virtual Memory, change, uncheck, automatically manage. Then, put a custom size, like 1024 for 4096 megabytes. Restart your PC afterward coastively. Extra tips, SSD firmware, BIOS update, disk health. If you're still facing issues, update SSD firmware from the manufacturer's site. Check disk health using Crystal Disk Info. BIOS UEFI updates can resolve driver bugs. Avoid using HDDs with aggressive prefetching or background tasks. And that's it. Those are all the real fixes that work to solve the 100% disk usage problem in Windows 10 and 11. This wasn't a quick patch video. It's a full guide that actually fixes the root causes. If this helped you, consider subscribing to my channel. We're going deeper into performance, privacy, and pro-level tips and guides every week. Drop a comment if you fixed your PC, or let me know what guide you want next. And feel free to ask any questions in the comments or by mailing me in the provided email in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.